3D Robotics, also known as 3DR, has developed an inexpensive self-piloting drone with a weapons-capable bay underneath it. This drone is also geared towards artificial intelligence, which is pretty strange if you ask me. Let's take a look at its impressive features beyond the normal GPS and 3-axis stabilizers before we get into the weapons capabilities. This is the first ever consumer drone run by two full-blown computers. They're running a 1 GHz ARM Cortex A9 chip powered by the Linux operating system. The manufacturer, 3DR, states and I quote, the smart technology not only allows us to introduce many industry first capabilities today, but also gives us the ability to unlock future technologies. Everything from next gen follow mode to computer vision and true artificial intelligence. End quote. I'm not sure about you, but the artificial intelligence part sounds a little like several movie plots that end badly. 3DR states, that anyone can now easily create their own apps for the drone and its platform through DroneKit, 3DR's open application development platform for drones, and even take them to market for free via 3DR services. The handheld drone controller has some remarkable features. The ability to attach a phone or tablet not only adds a great display, but also the capability to have touchscreen controls and internet access. The drone has real-time telemetry, automated mission planning with waypoints, a feature called Follow Me, which enables the drone to track its owner from the sky. It can automatically fly around a perimeter you create with a feature called Orbit. It can stream and record live video to a phone or tablet. It can fly 20 minutes with a payload, 25 minutes without a payload, and has a range of half a mile. But what about the really cool features, you ask? What about the payloads it can carry? How about a super bright LED system for search and rescue? An optical flow sensor to enable the drone to navigate its way inside of buildings. A fixed parachute system that can be automatically deployed if a crash is imminent, thus saving the drone and possibly preventing injuries to people on the ground. The same parachute system can be ejected with explosives to take out ground targets, or the drone can navigate through a building and detonate once reaching its intended target. A weapon system, such as a blinding laser or small gun, could be attached and remotely fired. 3DR designed this drone with expansion in mind, and as such, the drone has areas created to attach other objects and devices beyond a camera, which is discussed on 3DR's website. This drone could be used to help lead a search and rescue team to where they need to go, to scout the best path over rugged terrain while hiking, doing remote recons such as tracking vehicles, or patrolling the fence perimeter to a building. With this drone's ability to take off, fly, and land without human intervention, and many similar drones being created just like it, at what point do we pause and decide where to draw the line? Technology including drone technology, can be used for great things. But like many things, drone technology can be a double-edged sword. Remember to subscribe to this channel for free, and tune in tomorrow for more Daily Strange news. Don't forget to support our sponsors, take care, and God bless.